Hi everyone. Sorry, baby started crying, so that is why William is here. So today I filmed a like soft daytime glam Valentine's makeup look, and I'm using all drugstore products, which I'm very excited about, and drugstore brushes that you can get at Walgreens. I think the brushes I'm using are only at Walgreens, not CVS, but that's okay. So I hope you like this. I tried to just keep it pretty soft and pretty for if any of you have a daytime date because Valentine's Day is Sunday. So maybe you guys are going to brunch or something fun maybe or Saturday and maybe some of you don't want an intense eye because I know my last look was pretty dark and smoky. So I definitely get that's not for everyone. So today I just kind of tried to keep it soft and pretty neutral and I hope you guys all have a great Valentine's Day and I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Say bye. I always go in with this. This is a peach color and I always go in with this first because a peach color is going to help cancel out any dark circles and it's just going to help awaken your face and your eye help your eyes look a little more lifted and a little more youthful and you just put this directly under your eyes you don't need to worry about bringing that in down in the upside down triangle just right where your dark circles are now I'm going to go in with this Maybelline master concealer um, this is in the color 10 fair so first I'm just dipping my brush into that product and first just dabbing it under my eyes lightly bringing it to the inner corner to the outer corner i always bring mine back to the hairline i just think that helps you get the most highlighting effect and it just really helps awaken your eyes and i'm going to go in with this complexion sponge and then go over everything this is just going to help absorb any excess product and just really help press it into your skin and these are also good to help prevent creasing. I'm taking the pointed end of it now. That's for your eye area and it really helps get into the corner of your eye face. Now I'm going to do a little cream contouring real quick and I'm going in with this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. This is in the color W7. I really can go in with any foundation that's two to at least two shades darker than your regular foundation, but um, you definitely can go as dark as you want, <laughs> and I really like this. So, I'm just putting it on my cheekbones, kind of like the lower part of my cheekbone into the hollow hollows of my cheek, and blending it out. I'm going in with this Maybelline um, finishing translucent finishing powder. Ooh, this stuff is intense. And I'm just first stippling that onto my face. And then I go in with the second coat and just kind of lightly swirl it in over, all over my face. I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. This is in the color N7. It matches the, um, the cream foundation that I did. And this is a really good, I just love using this as a bronzer. Just go over the high, the, your cheekbones and then blend it in in the back of your hairline and just and then you can go in circular motions just to prevent any harsh obvious lines. Now I'm just going to go over the high points of my cheekbone with this Milani baked bronzer and the number five Soleil. I think I said that right. But this is just a really pretty it has gold like swirled into it and it's just a really pretty bronzer topper. So it's just kind of like a highlighter and I concentrate it in the back towards my hairline. I don't bring it too far up just because there's some gold and some a little shimmer in that and I don't want that to magnify my pores. Now for blush. I'm going to use this Milani powder blush in the color 1 Romantic Rose. Look how pretty this is for Valentine's Day. It is a little rose and I'm using this blush brush by Real Techniques and I'm just Swirling it in there, tapping off the excess and just kind of concentrating that back. And then lightly like 
lightly swiping it over the apples of my cheeks. But I just, I usually try to concentrate my blush kind of more back and blend it into my bronzer. My eyes, I'm gonna use this NYX Matte Finish. And this is really good. They have a, I think they have a dewy finish one too, but I want my face nice and matte because it, hold on. I want my face nice and matte because it naturally is so oily that throughout the day, I don't need any more unnecessary oiliness. So for eyes, I'm going to first start with this L'Oreal um, Magic Decrease Eyelid Primer. I'm gonna be going in with this new Nudes by CoverGirl. So pretty. This is an 805 Nudes liner. So first I'm gonna start with this color, this first shimmer color, and put it all over my lids. Um, I'm gonna be using this NYX crease brush. It's like a fluffy crease brush. So I'm starting with that first light color and just putting it all over my lids. And that's gonna be the canvas for my eyeshadow. I just primed it and it's always good to set your primer with a powder, just like you do for your face. It will just help your eyeshadows glide on and not be all patchy. So since that color is like a white creamy, I always bring it up to my eyebrow and that will kind of be, and that will be my brow highlighter as well. Now I'm gonna take this next color and put that into my crease. This is gonna be my main transition color and help all the other colors blend in better. And it's gonna, I, the reason I start with my crease is it just kinda of helps carve out my eye. But by carving out your eye, you can see your eye shape that you are working with and it just kinda of is like, a guideline as to where to stay in and not go out of the lines. Next I'm going in with this brown color, this light tan color. So I go backwards and forwards first and then I go in circular motions, like small circular motions, just buffing it out. That just helps blend it better and prevent any lines. I'm gonna go in with this brown color, this dark brown color. I don't really want this to be an intense cat eye, so I'm just kinda making sure the ends are really blended out for just a soft, smoky effect. And then I'm just lightly bringing it around. I'm not like worrying about that intense outer V because I don't want an intense cat eye. I just want this to be more soft. Now for the lid, I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna take the brush it came with and first apply this light pink, the third one from the left. I'm just gonna go back in with this fluffy blending brush that we used and go back in with this light brown color in the middle and just go over the outline of all the browns that we already have just to make sure everything's blended well together and that there's no harsh lines. Now for, I'm, I wanna smoke out my bottom lash line. I'm just gonna go in with that middle brown color like any like this being too precise because I just kind of want it to be pretty smoky and appropriate for the daytime now for eyeliner at first I'm gonna go in with this cover girl um, this cover girl pencil and black and just sloppily apply this along my lash line I'm gonna smoke it out with that black liner And then I'm taking this brush. This is an accent brush by Real Techniques. I'm going in with that black color all the way at the end. And I'm gonna go over that line. And then when you get to the end of your eyelash, just kind of wing it out a little. 
And then I'm bringing a little of this down on what's ever left on the brush. I'm going to bring down onto my bottom lash line and just kind of smoke it out. Going really applying this into the lashes. And I'll just give it give it a little more pop. Now I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to supply this. Now I'm going to apply these Ardell Demi Wispies, these false eyelashes. These are really pretty and fluffy, just for a more romantic eye. These are my favorite. Um, these are my favorite false lashes, and you get these. You can get these from any CVS and Walgreens, and they usually have buy one get one free, buy one get one half off. These things are always on sale and. Applying false lashes is very stressful. I'm gonna put a little mascara just to coat the my bottom lashes and to blend in my lashes with my false lashes. Just, I know you're not supposed to apply mascara with false lashes, but these Ardell ones are so cheap. I don't really save them. I usually just throw them away, but if you want, like if you have expensive false lashes, some of them you can get up to 20 uses out of them if you take good care of them like wash them with baby shampoo or just a gentle wash that you would use for your brushes and you can get good use out of your false lashes but these drugstore ones are usually i don't know i don't think they're worth saving okay now to fill in the brows I'm going to use this eyebrow pencil by Jordana. Jordana. I got it at Walgreens. Everything with this brow mascara by Maybelline. And this is in soft brown. It's called their Sculpting Brow Mascara. And this will just kind of help your hair stay in place. Now for a lip. Let's see, um, first I'm going to, let's see, so a pretty light pink color is this one by L'Oreal, um, Julianne's Nude, number 620, and then I also really like this Pretty Natural by Milani. I might apply both. First I'm going to apply this L'Oreal one because it's pretty light and pretty pink. Two by Milani in the color 43, pretty natural, and it's got more of a mauve coloring to it. And then I'm just gonna go over with this with this hydrating balm. This is by the Rose Petal Hydrating Balm by Selma Hayek's line at CVS and Walgreens. And this is, I'm just going to put this in the center of my lips. And this is just going to really give your lips a more juicy, glossy look, which I think is pretty during the daytime or anytime, really. All right. So that concludes our makeup look. I hope you really enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. I thought it'd be fun to film this more soft, natural Valentine's makeup glam tutorial. And I hope you guys really like it. And be sure to let me know what you think in the comment section below. And please remember to subscribe to my channel. So I hope everyone has a great Valentine's Day. And thank you so much for watching my video. Bye.